Welcome back, everybody. You know me, I love my casserole recipes, so we have a new one I think your family will absolutely love. Michelle's here from Lamer's Dairy with um, a casserole recipe I'm pretty excited about. It's delicious. I love chicken cordon bleu. Chicken cordon bleu is, of course, cheese and, and chicken, and, and usually there's some sort of a ham in like yes. a, mm -hmm. you know, um, and then we're gonna add some pasta and make a, take the whole flavors of chicken cordon bleu and turn it into a great make-ahead pasta bake. That's right, and it's so delicious and so easy. And you can do most of the prep ahead of time and just put it together for your family in the evening and put it in the oven and by the time everybody is at the table, it's done. Love it, love it. All right, so we're gonna start with a yummy cream sauce. So it starts with one eight ounce block of cream cheese. Right, and two cups of our Lamer's Dairy. Dairyland's best heavy cream. heavy cream. And watch when I pour this, Oops. how thick this heavy cream is as opposed to other creams that you get at the grocery store. Um, we love our Lamer's milk and heavy cream. And let me tell you, um, it's good stuff. And you can go pick it up at the dairy. You guys are That's located right, right mm -hmm. uh, in the Appleton area. That's right, off Highway 40, 441 and CE. Or you can pick this up at a lot of the local That's grocery right. stores, carry it. has it, a lot of uh, the stores. and it's really delicious it and all really of is. our cream and our milk is from local family farms and it's all RBG a tree. It's good stuff it really right. is so we'll do a little bit of salt and pepper we don't That's need right. too much. Yeah because the ham has some salt in it. Okay and oh. we're just waiting for this to kind of melt and form a, a real easy quick cream sauce. Right. And what is this Michelle? Well just to save time and again one of the things that you can do ahead this is just a quarter of an onion and a half of a clove of garlic that I just sauteed the night before. And a little bit of butter? Um, yes and oh. a little bit of butter. Okay. And we'll just, that'll infuse into the cream and mm. the um, cream cheese. So it's so easy. This is actually the most time consuming part is just making sure that this melts. That's and easy enough. Okay, so then we also went ahead and we cooked some pasta. That's um, right. Does it matter what type of pasta? Well, I like the, um, you know, you want to cook it al dente. I like the penne because the cream can float into the oh, little yeah. tubes. Yeah. So that um, is nice. So something, you know, that has tube ziti, you could do rigatoni if you like that. Okay, so. all right. And then um, we just went to the deli and got some nice ha deli ham. I did. And what I was going to show is the ham is I have it cut in ribbons. You know, a lot of casseroles have things cubed up and it's nice, but then you don't get a taste in all the bites. So what we did is um, we cut it into ribbons and that's really simple. That's that technique. It's called chiffonade. You do a lot of times for herbs. But you're just going to take a couple slices at a time and just cut them in really thin ribbons. And then you're going to have, it's going to go all through the dish, which is really nice. That's and a then great you, idea. You can just fluff it up and um, similarly, I shredded the chicken instead of cubed it, so you'll get a bite of chicken and ham, just like in your cordon bleu that you would have if you were making the chicken cordon bleu the classic way. That's a great idea, and for a time saver, I mean, I'm all about rotisserie chickens. Um, you know, you can go oh, to the grocery store. Is that what you that's use That's exactly here? what I use. You know, them. and then just yeah. uh, shred it up by hand, um, and, you know, on those busy nights where, you know, you don't have time to make the chicken, just swing, swing by the grocery store, pick one right. up, and make this casserole. So, so this is starting to look really good. Yeah, and in the meantime, what you're going to do is you're going to um, grease a um, 9 by 13 pan. Okay. I just put some butter in there. Okay. And then we're going to put most of our, as soon as that's melted, we'll add our cheese, a cup of our Swiss cheese, and that will um, make a nice cheesy, rich sauce. And so we just, this is just um, shredded Swiss. That's right. Okay. Which is normally the component you find in, you know, um, in cordon bleu with Swiss that's cheese. That's right. So right. We'll it's usually ham and Swiss cheese, and it's rolled and and put inside of a chicken breast. Yum. But this is so much faster because, as I said, most of this prep can be done in advance. So we're just going to melt this sauce. We're going to then, um, we can actually put our ham in here if we want. Okay. We can get going while yeah. you're doing yeah. that and our chicken. And then the last thing that we have to do is just pour our sauce on it. And it does thicken up a little bit in the oven as well. Oh, it looks fantastic. It smells amazing. And that when that Swiss cheese hits it, oh, it just kind of melts right in there. Yeah. Okay, so this goes right in there. Right, and then we're just going to toss that. and pour in the dish. And what I love about casseroles is no side dish needed, maybe just a big Absolutely. salad and it's all oh, in here. Oh, that would here. be great. That would be great. And a big tall glass of milk. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty. That's a heavy one. But well, that's okay. It's oh. Leftovers are a great thing. Pack mm -hmm. them up and have them for lunch. So we'll just spread this out. Spread, yeah, spread it out. And you can see, isn't it pretty with the ribbons of mm -hmm. the ham? It's so pretty. And then what you want to do is sprinkle the remaining half cup of Swiss cheese on top. So you get a little bit crusty 
cheesy bit on top, and oh, then I yeah. have some panko breadcrumbs, Ooh. a quarter to a third, whatever you like. I kind of like a lot. This looks fantastic. Oh, and it's so delicious. A it's nice a big green salad, yeah. and oof. And um, the breadcrumbs look just kind of crispy yeah, right out. Just yes, mm -hmm. just gives a little crispy and a pretty brown Yum. toasty Yum. color. Uh, bake time for this. Um, about 20 minutes. Okay. So in a 375 oven. Okay. And I'm so, going to show it to and you. And I'm sure it's and it, it's great as leftovers too. Oh, I'm have, sure. All right, let's take a peek because it smells so good in the oven right now. Oh, and the top does get nice and look at this. This is what we're talking about. This is why I love my casseroles. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, that looks so oh, it? delicious. It is, it is. Thanks for sharing the recipe. Well, it's my pleasure. You know, it's Cordon Bleu means gold ribbon. And actually, as you know, we've won first place in the World Dairy Expo and recently won two more gold medals. Did so you? We did. We entered our products into the Los Angeles International Dairy Competition and won gold, went gold medals. Congratulations. Well, we always knew Thank you were you. terrific. Uh, Lamer's Dairy right off of 441 in Appleton. That's right. Uh, stop in, get an ice cream cone. You can oh, actually mm -hmm. take the kids uh, and watch during the week some That's of the right. production, we which is really cool. Watch the bottle of milk. We had, we had a great, uh, two little kids came in the other day and the little boy said, best day ever, oh. eating a little ice cream cone and watching the, the so guys. That's um, And the president waves to you. If you, oh. if you catch his eye and bark, We'll wave to you. Oh, so. I love that. Well, it doesn't get any more family than that. That's for right. Sure. That's family. Definitely. Michelle's going to stick around. We're making a baked apple pancake. Perfect for a nice family weekend breakfast. And later, I promise you my Snickers dip recipe. So don't go anywhere. It's coming up.